to re-enter all of our viewers' lives right now <laughs> with a look at our forecast. Natasha? Adam, you are never short of clever transition from sports to weather. So if you have some sports you'd like to do outside, certainly today and tomorrow, these are your two nice dry days with a little bit of sunshine. 71 right now in Kalama, over to Stiller Winery, another gorgeous view, mostly sunny skies, 74 here. These temperatures put us just a few degrees above normal. Normal is 71 for this time of year. It is 73 in Portland, a nice view of Mount Hood. Wind is out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour, dew point 46. There is your evening forecast. Notice our temperature does not fall below 70 really until we get to about 7:30, 8 o'clock, and then we're at 68 degrees. Noticing then we get into the mid 60s right around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 61, and then 11 o'clock. Now we're in the upper 50s at that point. So here's your patio forecast. Whether you choose to use your patio or not, tomorrow another dry day for you. Temperature wise will be a couple degrees cooler at best 55 by the time we get to 8 o'clock as we roll into your lunch hour 65 degrees 68 for you by 2 o'clock and then 4 o'clock up to 71. So we go to our water vapor imagery to take a look at our next system on the way brewing here in the Gulf of Alaska. It'll be drawing in. Yes, much colder air for us. What's that going to do though this weekend? That's going to destabilize the atmosphere just a little bit and we're going to bring in some stronger winds too. So here we are. We're dealing with a ridge of high pressure. It's a very weak ridge. It's not so strong that we're seeing zero clouds or temperatures in the 80s and 90s. What you'll notice here as we get to the next couple of days, clouds increase, wind speed increases, air gets colder as we roll into Saturday. Uh, so for tomorrow, tomorrow starting off the day with partly cloudy skies at the coast, you're going to be dealing with the clouds a little bit longer throughout the day. We get to about 10, 11 o'clock, even a chance you could run into briefly some drizzle before those clouds clear. Most of that happening north of Seaside and along the Washington coast. Otherwise, Thursday is a partly cloudy day. Friday, more clouds and they don't move much. In fact, now we're talking about bringing in pockets of rain here and there throughout the day, starting as early as about noon going through the afternoon. Noticing as we get to Saturday, Saturday early in the morning, we're still dry, but now here comes the rain more widespread as we get to Saturday afternoon with a chance of thunderstorms bringing in colder air. That means snow for our mountain passes. That's right. Snow in June over the mountain passes. It happens and it's certainly at least we're expecting it to happen this weekend. Sunday morning will be the coldest point of the weekend. We get to Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. The rain will start to break up for you in eastern and central Oregon, but remains along the coast and into the foothills Sunday night. So how much rain could we see? Well, typically when we're talking about this, our lowest totals end up being in central Oregon and eastern Oregon. This time around, different story. Baker City, Joseph, you could get close to about an inch of rain over the weekend, but inland we may only get about six tenths of an inch or even a half inch overall for a two day period. So for that seven day forecast, cooler temperatures, low 60s. We're dropping it off by almost 10 degrees for the weekend with rain continuing through next Tuesday and Wednesday.